She could still be useful. I'm just saying. That's that's my rationale. She could still be useful. I'd rather her not leave. Okay. Oh, oh I okay. I thought it was like a cutscene there. Is that is that Jane? Doesn't look like Jane. That looks like. No, I guess that is Jane. I just can't really see that far. What are you doing sitting at a picnic table? She meet like trying to get inside the building, lazy. Oh hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. What? So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Okay, but where'd the partner thing come from? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. That wasn't a compliment, that was... I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. We? Oui. I thought you were on your own. Make signals, ahoy. Only reason I'm here is to make sure your ass didn't go running off. Why is there a... Oh, I was gonna say, why is there a cannon? Check this out. This gate's still locked. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. Yeah, but where'd you learn how to do that? You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Well, at least she's pragmatic. I will give her that. I just don't care for her people's skills. They leave a little bit to be desired. I understand where she's coming from with Sarah and all that, but... Find anything? No, not even trash. Yeah, I don't think looking at the poster is going to get anything done. Is the camera going to change? No, it's just nothing in there. <laughs> we're just jacking around, wasting time. Oh, just learning. That's what we're doing. And the only other thing on the deck was like the big cannon, I think, or artillery or whatever this was. I, you're not even gonna let me look at it, are you? Oh, well, I get. Yeah, this will work. Let's just look around. I guess it's broken. I think you need a coin, dear. But yeah, I. <laughs> Okay, these camera angles could really use some work, I'm just saying. I had to go around the other way just to get this camera angle. You think this thing still works? <laughs> <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Wouldn't that be, like, horrible if you did fill it with gunpowder then? Could, like, cement shrapnel going everywhere? It doesn't seem very safe, but I guess that'd be your fault for filling it with black powder in the first place. Or gunpowder. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Looking for what? It's an empty deck. I don't know what you want me to be looking for. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca would be in no. condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Okay, I'd rather not kill the boy. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. 
Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Hide where? There's, it's an empty deck. Are you serious? You didn't notice the little girl hiding behind the cannon? Really? I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes. He's never fired a gun before, okay. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. A little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. What are you doing, Jane? We're not robbing the man. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. What is it? Well, what's in there? No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. Is it just you and your sister? No, I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine. You are worried. Hey, Ibatiti. we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. no. You cannot take those from me. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bush. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> okay, really now. Oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I'm not robbing a man who has a broken leg. Or a... Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass later. Oh man. <laughs> he has a bunch of friends in the woods, he said. So that's either a threat or... Maybe he'll just leave us alone. I mean, I did do him a solid. I think he'll. I think if he comes back, we'll be friends. At least I hope so. I, he'll probably want to kill Jane, though. But to be fair, Clem, Clem, hey, any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. 
God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? I'm worried. He might be dangerous. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. What would you have done if it was you? Well, I don't know. Really, I don't. I just think... less. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. You let Carver live. He would have only came after us, Luke. He should know that better than anybody. He had to die. Me watching it? That was just a bonus. So yeah, I guess the horror and the violence has gotten to Clementine a bit. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. I didn't skip that, by the way. It just kind of did it itself. Glad you made it back safe. Oh, I can. I go. Never mind. How are you feeling? Yeah. Scared, and it hurts. Never ask a woman that <laughs> in that situation. I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Giving himself up to Carver like that, it was to try to keep you and the baby safe. Yeah. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. You know you still got like a mile walk. You might want to get started now. I mean, I'm just saying, you know. Anyway, I think I got about, let's see, oh good, about three minutes, so it's going to be a little shorter than usual, but I have a feeling if I keep going, it's going to turn into like another 10 to 15 minute, you know, thing here. So, all in all, we met Arvo. We, well, almost, I don't know if I trust Arvo. I think Arvo is going to be one of those wild cards later on that, depending if you robbed him, he's either going to try and, you know, get revenge or if you didn't rob him, I'm hoping it's not classic Telltale where he does it either, like any, like he, whatever he's gonna do, he's gonna do it either way. 
but with knowing Telltale games lately, it probably didn't matter if you robbed them or not. But I'm, I'm going to stick to my personal beliefs. You don't just go robbing people. And if they come back and try and kill me, well, that's on me. And I was naive and stupid. But I'm not going to try and instigate violence by robbing a man. That was my reasoning for that one. But uh, I don't really... Obviously, I don't want to know spoilers. So if you know what happens, please don't tell me. I'm, I, I, I'm hoping against all hope that he'll come back and be a buddy, you know, a friend. But if I know Telltale's writers, I don't think he will be. <laughs> Telltale's writers are good at creating a narrative, but it's always extremely predictable after season one. Season one was not at all. Season two seems to be kind of predictable on what's going to happen. I called it with Sarah and the whole lever thing, so I hope I'm not right with this one. But Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and listening to my rambling. Sorry, it's a little bit shorter of a video than you're used to. Uh, two minutes, as a matter of fact, so... Thank you guys very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you Saturday. Farewell, everyone. Until then.